Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHC Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to show how to visualize a topographical map with hill shades in a 3D view. I need a DEM and a scanned topographical map that is georeferenced. In another video you can see how to do that. I change here the rotation with one degree to make it a bit straight on the screen. Because the next step is that I'm going to digitize a polygon of the outer boundary of the map. Change the projection and I just need it as a scratch layer. I just need four corners around the outside of the map, still in the white part. Finalize the polygon by clicking right. Toggle the editing and save. I zoom to the layer. And I'm now going to clip the topographical map to that boundary. Assign no data value. And I call the output topo clip. I'll run it. So that's the topographical map clipped to the outer boundary. Now I'm creating another scratch layer for the inner boundary. Now I'm going to trace the inner boundary of the map. So finalize the inner boundary. Zoom to the layer and I toggle off the editing. So the next step is to clip the DEM to the inner boundary because there we need the DEM values. Sign no data minus 9999. Keep the resolutions. And I save this as inner dam. Run it, and there's the inner dam. The next step is to calculate the difference between the outer and the inner polygon. That's needed because I want the border to have an elevation value of zero. Call this outer minus inner. And run it, and there we have the boundary. And now I want to set that to an elevation of zero. So I'm going to rasterize the outer minus inner. And I keep the defaults. I change to output raster size units to georeference units, 30 by 30 meters like the DEM. And the output extent should be the layer extent of outer minus inner. And no data. Minus 9999. Let's call this the outer dam, which should have zero meters. Yes. The next step is to merge the inner and the outer dam. So choose the inner and the outer dam. And we keep that as default. And I call the output dam topo. We run it. And that's the merge DEM with the elevation values of the area that covers the topographical map and zeros for the legend and the outside map areas. 
Now we can use the hillshade renderer. But that doesn't give the, the effect that we want. So there's a nice plugin. It's called the terrain shading plugin. And we choose there the tool for the shadow depth. Make sure you have DM topo selected. Keep the defaults. And let's call it DEM topo shade. And when we run it, we get now the right effect. All we need to do now is uh, shuffle the layers in the right positions. And switch on the blending. I need the inner dam to be switched on and the outer dam will be off. And I'm applying the hill shade to the inner dam. And make sure that you put the resampling to be linear and average. I can open a 3D view. Change the settings. And there is the result. We can also visualize it in the QGIS 3JS uh, viewer. There it is, we change some settings. And there's the result.